Hey, everybody. Uh, Sunday night. Sorry, I'm a little late coming on. Told everybody last week would be here about eight. Uh, been working, trying to get, get garden ready. Uh, fall garden here. And plus, been working on my truck. Just put a lift kit on it. Oh, that took way more time than I thought it would. So, if any of you guys got any questions tonight on Dutch ovens, that's the topic that we are talking about tonight. Uh, but obviously, we'll talk about uh, whatever you guys want to talk about. There's Greasy Grits. Appreciate you stopping in. Um, we'll give a few minutes here for people to start uh, showing up. Oh, man, I tell you, worked my butt off a day. I was sweating out here in the garden. And then uh, working on the truck, there's uh, Tim uh, Humphers. Howdy, y'all. Matthew Callahan, appreciate y'all stopping in. Um, so here you go. A few of you guys are already here. If you would like to ask a question to make your question more prominent over here in uh, my little chat that keeps going by, um, make sure you tag me in the question. And you're just going to start typing. You'll type at, and then um, you type at, and then start spelling backwards gourmet, and it'll it'll come up there. You just click on it, and then type your question in all caps. And first of all, it'll give me a big uh, a big at backwards gourmet uh, red over here, so I can catch it as this this thing scrolls by. So hopefully, uh, maybe Chef Johnny will show up here. We'll make him a mod if he does. Um, and keep it polite. All right, keep it polite and PG-13. Yeah, we appreciate all that. So Mrs. Backwoods is dropped in here. And since she's a member of the channel, her name shows up in green on my chat, as well as she's got a little logo there beside her, uh, her name since she's a member. And... Um, Remember, if you're a member and you're on the chat, you also got custom emojis that you can use here uh, in live chat. Greasy Grits. Uh, let's, first of all, let's say uh, Twisted Ankle and Cowboy Cooking Team. Love the name of the channel there. Uh, uh, Juan Morales is in here. Uh, thanks for stopping by. stopping by. Your food always looks great. Greetings from ATX. I'm not sure exactly where ATX is. Um, uh, I'm sure somewhere in Texas, I'm sure. All right. Greasy Grits has left me a question and he says, uh, how much do you like the eight inch Dutchie? Uh, you don't seem to use it much. Wish you would. Suggestion is to have a cooking for two series using the eight inch more. Uh, Great, great idea. I did use the eight inch a while back for the Dutch oven uh, mountain man breakfast for two. We do use it uh, more than it shows on the channel. All right. Uh, just cause, you know, just cause you, just cause you guys don't see it. Don't mean we're not using it. We're, we're cooked out here all the time, all the time. And we're cooking with Dutch ovens a lot. All right. So, um, just because you didn't see it don't mean we're not using it. But, yeah, you're right. I'm going to try to feature that a little bit more, especially here. Uh, it's getting campus season now. Weather's finally starting to give us a tiny bit of break. Um, but here in another maybe two, three weeks, we're going to get it out. And uh, if we do, we'll uh, make sure to bring along that little eight inch. All right, Darla A., another uh, member. Welcome, welcome. She says hello from Ohio. All right. We got uh, Teresa Ellis from Austin, Texas. Welcome. Steve C., welcome. Uh, he's from Indianapolis. We got these, uh, watch 63, tuning in from Winnipeg, Canada. Welcome. Our, our Man, we have a lot of watchers over on the uh, north of the border there in Canada. I know you guys up there really enjoy a an outdoor lifestyle, and uh, so we got a lot of a lot of fans up there. Wes Walker, appreciate it. Hi from Corpus Christi, Texas. There's Texas style barbecue cuisine. Uh, I think you're already a mod because I see a little wrench beside your name. Ed W from Dallas. Or from Dallas. Uh, James Fragans, howdy's from Oklahoma. Abdullah, he's uh, 
saying hello from Iraq right now. All right, now we got uh, Daniel Talley. He's in the chat here. Uh, tag me with a question. What would be your recommendations for a simple Dutch oven recipe to teach Cub Scouts and other than cobbler? That's an awesome one. And my suggestion is one I used to teach my Scouts, and that was chicken and rice. It's pretty much a dump dish. You got some chicken uh, pieces, usually thighs, uh, some some. Uh, it's uh, like Uncle Ben's or parboiled rice, some Lipton cup, is Lipton, uh, uh, shoot, what is it? That onion soup mix, Lipton onion soup mix, main part of the season, a little bit of salt and a little bit of salt and pepper, and um, some water. Uh, and you just put that in there for an hour, let it burn out. It, it's pretty awesome. Okay, so I'm going to tell you one thing, too, is as this chat gets going here, if you tag me in in uh, for, for, for a question, and I'm already answered somebody's question, this chat goes by pretty quick, all right? And I, I really don't have time to go back over there and scroll back up to find your question. So if you're leaving a question, you don't hear them back from me, put it in again, okay? Just put your question in again, and hopefully I'll see you the next time, because I just got one, and it's flew by so fast because we got a lot of people in the chat already. Thanks guys for showing up. Hey, and you just like with uh, any other video, you can hit that thumbs up button right now. We got 38 people in the chat, but only four thumbs up. So uh, if you like seeing these, um, if you like seeing these from the backwards gourmet here on Sunday nights, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. It'll help out. All right. We got, um, let me catch up with some of the people showing up here. We got Bernie Gundrum. Uh, hello from Wisconsin. Um, we got TK Diver One here from Maryland. Tim Humphreys, Lipton Onion. Yeah, he, he was getting on me there. Uh, Ricky Walden. Hello from North Carolina. A lot of videos. Newbie to cast iron. Thanks for all the fine content. You're welcome. And remember, you don't have to rely on just the new stuff that's coming out that YouTube's going to maybe suggest to put in your browse feature. Uh, if you go over there to our channel page, there's three, right? Now, as of today, I think it's 339 different videos. There, And on channel page, they are organized into playlists. So you can go back there, watch to your heart's consent. You can see some of our older older videos where we really didn't even know what we're doing here on YouTube yet. But there's some still got some really good recipes back there. All right, some real good recipes. Some stuff I ha just haven't redone because it didn't really – do much the first time, but we are working on going back through some of our uh, big time favorites and try to reproduce them and do a little bit better job at them. All right, we got Leon Spillers. Uh, hello from Monroe, Louisiana. Man, uh, some places right there. Like to go over and do some fishing and hunting in. We got Ricky Walden. Hello from North Carolina. Uh, we already mentioned him. Uh, Daniel Talley, he's here, still here. Chad Robinson, 45. Thank you for joining us. We got Jackie Payne. Uh, she's asking, do you sand out Dutch ovens for a smoother surface or only skillets? I have not sanded a Dutch oven yet. Uh, I like actually think it might even help a little bit, that you know, rough finish in a Dutch oven. Because a lot of time we're doing like a braise, you know, we're not, we're not, you know, trying to cook pancakes or eggs or something like that over here. So sometimes a little bit of, the food sticking on the on the surface of the bottom of the of the pot actually helps what you're making. You know, gets you that fond in there, so you can bring that up. All right, let's move on a little bit. Alrighty, um, we got uh, Wayne Bednors. Hello from Corpus Christi, Texas. Man, we really appreciate you guys over in Texas. You know, Texas is our usually our number one state for viewership. And I just guess because, you know, it's more of a rural lifestyle there. Uh, people really uh, kind of dig what we do. Uh, it'd be Texas, California, Florida, North Carolina. They've been our top four here for a long time. But Texas, uh, ain't nobody, ain't, there's nobody going to knock y'all out of the top top spot on our channel, I don't believe. Leslie Miller, love the bacon burger wrap you demonstrated. It's great. Yeah. The giant bacon burger in the cast iron pan. Oh, my God. Y'all have not seen that video. Uh, maybe Chef Johnny can go back and give you a link right here. If not, just hit it up on the channel page. Man, a lot of people watched that video. It was really popular. 
And uh, it was super delicious. It was super delicious. All right, Wes Walker, looking forward to some nice Dutch oven winter casseroles. All right, Wes, man, I am too. Um, you know, it, it's pretty hard to get motivated out here to do a Dutch oven cooking when it's about 95 and 100% humidity or blowing a hurricane or you know, all the other stuff it does in late, late summer every year. Uh, Greasy Grit says cast iron equals tradition here in Texas. And it, it does here in Florida too. Um, uh, you know, but uh, the population of Florida is changing just like it is in Texas. You, I can walk around central Florida here right now. It's a thousand people where they're from. I might find 10 that are actually from Florida. Um, Everybody else going to say Ohio, New York, New Jersey, all up northeast, all the Yankees, uh, Ohio, big one of the biggest ones here, Ohio. Everybody that's here in Florida, not from Florida. I was born and raised in North Florida and uh, lived here all my life, except a, a short stint when I served my country in the United States Supreme Court. Uh, uh, came right back here uh, after, after my service and been here ever since. All right, we got Teach Amanda Fish in the chat. Welcome, welcome. And he says, what's your favorite lump charcoal and why? I haven't really found much difference in it. Um, I've used several different brands. Uh, some of them better than others. Uh, B&B is one I've found that, man, it's got, I mean, there's some pieces in there. And I like, I like it bigger rather than, you know, all little teeny tiny stuff. I've tried some of them generic brands and they're not so great because uh, they're too small. The pieces are just too, too small. And B and B, I'm a, I think it's almost too big. So I, I, I haven't really tracked it. Which one my favorite one is. Uh, I did like, like the B and B. I've used it a couple times. I use it more not for Dutch oven cooking, but more for like grilling and stuff like that because it's got really big fit, really big pieces. All right, uh, Tisa, watch 63. I'm watching the Winnipeg Jets hockey game on TV with the volume off. I'm watching and listening to you on the iPad. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'm glad we took some kind of precedence over uh, the hockey game. Greasy Grits uh, says, says Cuba. I don't know what he's talking about there. I might have missed some of the previous conversation. And um, Matthew Callahan, uh, thank you for supporting. Uh, the people like me that did serve their country and, and that are serving their country right now. Uh, okay. Les Green, Semper Fi, Jarhead. Uh, ooh, Ross, all I got to say about that. I see Chef Johnny just put the giant bacon, bacon burger link up there in the chat. So if y'all want to take a look at that, I still see there we got 45 people in chat, but only 18 likes. Um, so don't forget to hit that like button over there. Uh, try to help this little chat out here. All right, so guys, go ahead and throw some more questions up there. Don't forget to uh, tag me in the question at Backwoods Gourmet. And uh, we'll try to get that uh, answers out to you. Yeah, second here. All right, so I brought a brought out a uh, Dutch oven here, and um, this is the one thing I get asked all the time, all the time. Um, what's the difference between a Dutch oven and a camp oven? Um, a Dutch oven, generally nowadays, it always used to be this. Okay. With a rim on top that could uh, hold coals, this was this was a Dutch oven. But in modern times, they actually kind of changed it. Now it just has a dome lid, much like the uh, the ones you can buy at Walmart, other places. They're just a iron pot, no legs on the bottom, and just have a dome lid on top. And that's what's now commonly referred to as a Dutch oven. And this is really it's also still a Dutch oven. It always has been a Dutch oven, you know, uh, but now 
if you really want to cut hair or split hairs about it, and you're looking at this is called camp oven now. So camp oven has this this rim on the on the lid to hold coals up on top, and it also has, and you see the one right behind me there, kind of barely see it. Uh, it has some three legs on the bottom, so you can use it on on charcoal. But you'll see Dutch ovens, you know, listed all over uh, that don't have either of those features. And as far as um, camping or charcoal cooking goes, they just don't work. Um, I mean, obviously, you can hang it up over a fire on a, on a tripod or something like that, cook from the bottom, do some beans or something like that. But, but it's not going to work like a camp oven does, and it won't work with most of the things that we show you here on this channel. All right. Uh, Diesel Witch 63 said, I went out and bought a Camp Chef 2 burner cooker just from watching your show. I love it. I just bought the pizza oven that goes with it. Yeah, we, ours is a Concord, but it's very, very similar. Very, very similar to the, um, the Camp Chef. I've got a ton of use out of mine. I mean, I probably use that thing three, three four times a week. Uh, I'm always out here on it. I even use it to season cast iron on. So uh, you're going to love it. You're going to love that camp of it. And, and uh, mine, the legs come off of it. I don't know about yours. You can pack that up. You can actually, if, if you're going to be camping for any amount of time, and especially if the, the weather may be sketchy, I definitely pack it up. Um, it's going to be out there, uh, you know, and it'll work, going to work rain or shine. Okay. Tim Humphers says, if it can't hold coals on the top, it ain't a Dutch oven. And I'm going to go and agree with you on that one. But, you know, like I said, modern day people have are changed, changed the definition of Dutch oven. And now you'll see, you know, just regular in the house Dutch ovens. So that's why I want to kind of clear it up. So Texas style barbecue. Barbecue and cuisine. If y'all have not checked out Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine's channel, uh, just click on his uh, name right there in the chat. Uh, it won't take you out. It won't. It won't uh, pull you out of the chat. Uh, it's going. If you do that, it's going to be three buttons right beside his name, and you can go over <clears throat> and subscribe to his channel without actually leaving this chat. But uh, he's he's saying. There's some Dutch ovens out there with a lip lid, but no feet. So make sure they have feet. All right. I actually have one of those. I've actually bought one of those in an antique store a while back. And I think it was maybe mismatched. But uh, at any rate, yeah, a true camp Dutch oven needs to have the feet and the lid with the rim. All right. Greasy Grits is tagging me over here with a with a uh, question and he said, is your Concord, Concord stove rusting bad? Thinking about going for Camp Chef stainless steel model, but the price tag is a bit steep. My burners are rusting a bit, but I had, I think two years and it sits out here in the rain all the time. I, you know, I sometimes forget to bring it back under the porch here, so don't get rained on over the, you know, we got a hurricane, whatever, water blows up under here. And the burners rust a little bit, and I'm starting to notice uh, they're getting a little rusty. And uh, the flames are not as even as it used to be. But I just taken a little piece of wire kind of pokes down in the holes, and it works fine now. The, uh, the, the rack part has not rusted very badly at all. Uh, and for two years worth of being out in the weather, the whole, I ain't never took it or put it away where it's completely out of weather. And it's it's still it's still plugging right along, plugging right along. All right, so all right, we got JD showing up. Thank you, JD, for joining us here. Uh, remember to hit that like button right down there at the bottom, just like you would any of the rest of our videos. We've got 51, 53 people in there now, with only uh, 29 likes. Uh, JD says uh, he's asking, do you ever use parchment paper liners in your Dutch ovens? Yes, I do, especially with baking. Uh, I usually only do the bottom, though. I'll just take my lid, trace it out, cut around it when I put it in the bottom. Uh, 
We'll do that with, uh, we've done actually key lime pie in the Dutch oven. We've used liner. Uh, some of my cobblers and pies I've used uh, Dutch oven liner or the parchment paper liner in the bottom. I don't generally go buy the ones, though, that are pre-made. I usually just make them from, from parchment paper. So happy guy too, Howdy from Michigan. Thanks for your service, buddy. Appreciate appreciate you being over here. John Daigle, uh, member member of ours, new member of ours right there. Uh, been with us, I think, since um, maybe, you know, first or second, first or second member. I see that he's showing up with uh, the bacon, um, the bacon uh, emoji beside his name now. So I think that means he's uh, been over a month. And he's saying hi from Massachusetts, John Daigle. Appreciate you being here. Uh, Logan Smith, appreciate you. Uh, she's coming in from the great state of Alabama. We'll probably be making it up there to Alabama, do a little bit of hunting this fall. All righty. Uh, Texas style barbecue cuisine is telling everyone you can use pie pans also. So, yeah, you can use a pie pan. You put a pie pan right straight in the bottom of your Dutch oven and cook a pie just like you would do in the oven. And I might be doing a video on that uh, in, the, in the not so distant future. I uh, appreciate it. Uh, Greasy Grits just became a member, guy. Okay? And uh, you can also do that right here from the chat. And it's going to show up now. Greasy Grits is a great big green sign all around his name and says, New member, welcome, Greasy Grits. Uh, don't forget, you can also leave us a little uh, little uh, token down there by using that uh, little dollar sign at the bottom of the chat. That's a super chat feature. And uh, you can contribute whatever you want to our calls here. And every, anything, any little bit of thing you leave uh, helps out the calls, helps us buy, you know, uh, ingredients and charcoal and all the other things that, we just burn, seem to burn through a lot of every single week trying to make great videos for you guys uh, every single week. And we're going to keep doing that uh, as long as we can. But any kind of little bit of uh, support you can help us with, uh, we appreciate it, every bit of that. <sighs> Man. <sighs> Still hot here in Florida. All right. Now we got a uh, Killa Kalita. Um, thanks for joining us. Will soups take away the coating on your pan? No, it won't. Uh, unless it has a lot of acid in it. If you're cooking something with a lot of tomatoes, a lot of any kind of citrus in it, uh, anything else that's acidy, it's going to eat seasoning out of your pot. Um, appreciate that, uh, Chef Johnny, for popping in the super chat there. Um, grumpy old gringo. I listen back up here. Kind of got a, like I said, everything is flying by over there. Brandon Jackson, thanks for showing up. Is and he's asking, is a lodge your go to for Dutch ovens, or you do, do you prefer any other brands? I lodge is my go to. Uh, as far as I know, right now, that's the only one still made in America, and I'm, I'm gonna stick with it. That's that's my opinion. I'm sticking to it. I have looked at a bunch of other, you know, made in China brands and actually I got a camp chef made in China. Uh, quality of that pot was nowhere near what a lodge was when I got, when I got it. All right. Not that it doesn't work. Still works fine. But the initial quality of it was nowhere near a lodge. Um, so we got a, uh, let's see. Grumpy old gringo, appreciate you showing up. Uh, one of the longtime subs over there saying good uh, good evening, everybody. We got Pygar too, another long time, um, long time sub subscriber and commenter over on our channel. We appreciate them. Uh, they make full Dutch oven liners too. Yes, they do. That's from Pygar too. Um, I never really even just seen the need to use them other than just parchment paper for something that's real sugary. That's the only time I really uh, uh, go for parchment paper. Like I said, something will dessert, something like that. It's got a lot of sugar in it, then I'm going to want to use it. Okay, uh, Kevin Baird, thank you for joining. He says, every enjoy every video. I love the cooking with cast iron. And thanks for sharing. Well, we appreciate you guys. Without you guys showing up and watching the video, then it doesn't make no sense for us to make videos, right? 
So you guys are very important uh, to what we're doing here. If you guys don't show up and watch, uh, then there's no sense in us actually making a video to start with. Uh, let me back up here just a little bit. Twisted ankle and cowboy cooking team. I miss the Mac Daddy days. Glad to see you're doing well. I've learned some great tips from you. So, yeah, that's where I know Twisted Ankle from. Absolutely. Yeah, we, uh, him and I both competed in a, a year long amateur barbecue competition back in, I think, 2014, 15, somewhere in there. I don't know. I got some bunch of trophies with the dates on them. But, um, yeah, we uh, we had a great time. We did one a month for 10 months. And uh, out of that whole process, I ended up with along with my brother, which is uh, our Beckwith Gourmet Barbecue team. Uh, we placed third overall for that entire year. Uh, we did win a grand champion. We placed, I believe, in we actually walked in nine of the 10 competitions and in one category or other so we did pretty well in that so uh, appreciate it yeah uh keep in touch with us we're gonna keep doing some barbecue here hopefully when it gets a little bit cooler mike rogers welcome he says oh crap i'm late You're a little, little bit kevin gribber love the videos uh says uh, love the videos your favorite meal to prepare in the dutch oven um Favorite meal to prepare in a Dutch oven is uh, probably chicken and rice. I love chicken and rice in the Dutch oven. And, and it just works so freaking awesome in a Dutch oven. Plus, when you when you braise that chicken in, in a cast iron, you know, you get it and you fry it nice and hot first and get it nice and golden, golden brown. And, and then you braise it off. Man, that cast iron really brings a lot of flavor in there, too. Um. See what else we got here. Okay, Mike Rogers says loves the videos. The last one was great. I don't know what the last one you seen was, but yep. All right, we got Hunter in the chat now, and he says, uh, "Have you used a new Black Lock, Lock cookware from Lodge? Where you been? Where you been, Hunter? Uh, yeah, we've been reviewing that for uh, the last month, and uh, I think there is now the unbox and three other videos." After the unbox of the Black Lock, uh, we're we're reviewing the 12 inch pans, uh, and we have two identical ones that we're comparing. One is sanded it out, sanded it out pretty smooth. The other one left it alone. So, yeah, go hit the channel page. Uh, it's I think there's a playlist up there right now, the Black Lock Skillet Challenge. So, you might have to search for the playlist. They only let me have so many playlists. There's only so many real estates in there. But if not, just click the videos button, and you're going to see them all. They're all recent. And Becky Dupree, thank you. She is another member, and she is a level two member, um, sous chef member here at the and my very first sous chef level member. So appreciate you stopping in, Becky. And, yes, now you have the bacon symbol beside your name, and your name is in green. Since uh, you've been a member here. All right. Uh, let's see. I know I'm missing some of you guys because it's kind of flying by. All right. Uh, David G. Appreciate it. I don't think we've uh, shouted out David G, David G yet. Maybe just uh, jumped on here. We got David G. He says, what's the first thing I should cook in my new Lodge 12-inch Dutch oven? Love your bit. Um, Bacon. Cook some bacon. Even if even if you don't do a full Dutch oven, it cook some bacon. Dutch oven's gonna love you for it. Uh, cook it in there. Cook as much as you want. Uh, cook a lot of bacon. But that 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 uh, new cast iron just loves bacon. Okay, that's the first thing you should cook in it. Um, after that, I'll maybe do uh, something um, with some nice like chicken thighs or something like that. It also has a lot of a lot of um, oil in it chicken thighs maybe you go, go back and check out our uh, channel page click on the videos scroll back a little ways look at some of our uh, actually you can scroll down there to our easy dutch oven dishes 
I think we have a playlist uh, down about third or fourth level. It says Easy Dutch Oven Dishes. Just start watching that playlist. Every one of those videos on there is stuff that um, we teach the scouts or that you could teach the scouts uh, these days. And they're all simple and, uh, you know, they don't take a lot of ingredients. And they turn out really awesome every time. All righty. So, okay. All right. So, Becky, if you got a, a uh, question, remember to tag me in the question. Just going to remind everybody to just put at backwards. And you, you, as soon as you start typing that, it's going to pop up. You can click on it. And then try to put your question in all caps if you can. Now, if you're on the phone, I know you can't do that. But if you're on PC, put it all in caps. And it's going to. Well, if you did at least put it at Bagwas Gourmet, it's going to pop up in red on my screen over here so that I catch it that, you know, that you're asking a question and not just chatting among yourselves over there. So, I mean, and sometimes it moves really fast, fast, depending on how many people are coming in. We got 62 people in the chat right now. Man, you guys are really showing up. Appreciate it. But there's only 37 likes. So uh, if you haven't left a like for us yet, uh, don't forget, leave that up there. Uh, uh, like this video. You can also I want to remind everyone again, it's just coming in that there's a little dollar sign button right down the bottom of the live chat. You can click on that and leave us a super chat and that's going to pop up on my screen over here at the side. And there's no, I don't think no minimum of how little that you can leave if you want to kind of try to contribute. So we can keep this little weekly live stream going. All right, set one, 1,000. He is here. He was here last week. I was wondering where he went. And also, uh, Bob, just Bob, he's also here. Um, appreciate you guys showing up. And set one, 1,000 is asked, if someone can't have pork of any kind, could they use something else? Just curious is all. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, there... Unless it's a straight up pork dish, I don't think there's anything you can make that would be a pork dish. You know, uh, you couldn't use chicken or beef or whatever. I mean, it wouldn't be the same the same dish, but you could cook it in the same way. So if we're doing a barbecued, say we're doing barbecued ribs, there's no reason you can't do beef ribs almost exactly the same way. As you, as you can with pork. So, you know, it's, it's not the same thing, but you can still use the same techniques. All right. Grumpy old gringo says, at back with score mate, what did, did ever do with the skillet that fell off the wall and broke? Okay. He remembers that one. I still got it. I've had a couple of people uh, offer to actually try to fix it. And I told them I would give it to them if they paid the shipping. Problem is that it had two pieces at the little half moon it broke out of, and I can only find one right now. So if I get here and try to clean it up some cabinets up there under the under the outdoor, you know, summer kitchen over here, and find the other piece, I'm probably send it off to somebody. But it's I still got it over here. I, I think the bottom's cracked too, so it it really ain't gonna have a real high chance of ever being cookable again. So, but that's what happened to it. I'm still got it, still sitting over. Here. Might just become a wall hanger at some point in time. Okay. Uh, grumpy old gringo. Yeah, I got you. All right. Tim Humphers. The first thing a vegan should cook is popcorn. Make sure you grease, grease the sides and the bottom with bacon first. <laughs> I have never done pop or popcorn in a Dutch oven yet, but I seen, uh, I seen old buddy, uh, cowboy can't do it there. A little while back. So we'll probably, if we do a camp trip, you know, here, uh, we actually got one coming in December, but I hope uh, we're going to do one a lot sooner than that. Even uh, maybe even on our own, but yeah, I, I'm definitely going to try to do popcorn on a campfire in a Dutch. So greasy grit says, uh, sent, he's talking over there to sent one, uh, sent one, 1000 fry something in old, the first few times that he's given a little advice on what to do that brand new Dutch oven. But yeah, anything oily, oily, oily. You, you want to keep playing grease in that thing on them first few cooks. Uh, actually, he sent one 1000 back on there now. He says, I meant to season the cast iron. Um, 
lately I've been using flaxseed oil and it makes a really, really good uh, first few seasons on it. It has a very, very high burning temperature. Uh, it's going to be hard to do it in the oven. You have to do it on probably on a propane burner. I don't think the oven gets quite hot enough to set it completely. But uh, flaxseed oil is working really good for seasoning. Uh, other than that, you use peanut oil. There's uh, the crispy stuff. There's a bunch of stuff you can use. So sent one one thousand CIs. I mean, to season the cast iron. Got gotcha. you. We got a. It's a elixir. Shout me out. All right, we got you there. Appreciate you for joining. Uh, Mike Rogers popcorn and Dutch oven is awesome, especially caramel corn. Mm, sounds pretty daggum awesome to me. All righty. Oh, I got daggum notifications popping up over top of the chat here. Let me turn them off. Uh, and yeah, it keeps happening. All right. So we got grumpy old gringo asking in here. He says, uh, I mean, if I can get these notifications cleared, I don't know why they're popping up over top of everything and why they're just now coming. You know, I, I know some of you guys have the same problem, notifications, notifications of our channel. So if you were a subscriber to the Backwoods Gourmet channel, make sure you have your bell ring and, um, and you have selected uh, notify me of all uploads from this creator. And also make sure that your device settings have the notifications turned on. You can ring that bell all you want to and sit around and bitch because you didn't get no notifications. But if YouTube can't reach you because you have your notifications on your phone or tablet or PC turned off, don't do a bit of good. They send us numbers on that now. And there's about a third of the people that have rung the bell that actually have their notifications turned off either on their computer, their phone, their tablet, whatever they're, they're, they're on. So if you don't have your notifications on on your device, there's no way for YouTube to notify you of new posts from the Backwoods Gourmet. All right, so let me see if we can catch up here. Uh, we got grumpy old gringo over here saying, at Backwoods Gourmet, you should paint your logo on it and hang it up and maybe colors in the logo painting. I've actually considered that. So um, just a matter of getting some time. All right. So, all right. We got uh, another new person in here. Uh, 38 Kim Possible. I'm new to this channel, she's saying, and I watched you cook mustard greens today and subscribe. Where are you located? So we're down here in the deep south, really deep, down central Florida. Um, and actually, there's a comedian that says the further the further south in Florida you go, the more up north you get, and that is the daggone truth. You get to Fort Lauderdale, you're all the way back in New York City. So North Florida uh, is where I was born and raised. So uh, yeah, uh, we know how to cook mustard greens. As a matter of fact, uh, matter of fact, I told you I was out working a garden today, getting it ready. Mustard green plants right there. Those are going in the ground tomorrow. So, yeah, we love us some greens around here. I got uh, cauliflower, cabbage, uh, broccoli, butter crunch lettuce, a bunch of stuff going in the ground. So, we just uh, kind of get everything wet, ready here and wait for the weather to cool off a little bit. So I got Greasy Grits over. Appreciate uh, appreciate you, new member of Greasy Grits. Uh, now you show up in green. And you got the uh, little skillet with the egg in it right beside your name. So thank you for uh, helping out the other guys on giving a little advice on what to use for seasoning. All right. So, hey, we got 20807 Shane, new Dutch ovens. Can you use Dutch oven with legs on propane stoves? Same as coals. Absolutely. Uh, use mine on propane stove all the time, but what you're going to find is you're going to have to re-season the legs up on the bar because it gets really hot in there, and usually it burns the season off my legs. So if you just remember to have a little bit of oil, I got a little spray spray bottle, a little Crone, Crone Duchesne spray bottle. Keep a little spray bottle in there. When you get done 
if that happens to you when you're cooking on the propane, just before you cool it all the way down, just reach under there and spray them legs again. Give them a little, give them a little season so they don't rust on you. All righty. All right. We got Otto Van Eichmann the third. How many will a Dutch oven fit? Mm. Depends on size and what you're trying to fit in it. All right, buddy. Appreciate you joining us, though. Um, and Mike Rogers saying, even with all notifications turned on, we don't get them all. And, you know, I hear that all the time. I do. And I ain't a thing I can do about it. So if you don't hear from us at least once a week, just hit us up on the channel page over and see what's new. I'm also putting a lot of stuff out on the community tab for the for the members and for all, a lot of you guys, too. I'm actually putting stuff over there that are not actually even going on uh, our YouTube channel. Uh, some little adventures and backwards, backwards behind the scenes stuff. So you can check all that out from the community tab. All right, so let's see what we got here. Greasy Gretsch, yep, he's right. Born in West Palm and never, and grew, oh, we just moved on me, and grew up just north of Orlando, now transplanted to Texas. Yeah, well, it's, like I said, even here right now, um, and the the county where I live right now, English is not the predominant language. Uh, it's Spanish. All right. So, uh, B. Fowler, I owe you an apology from last week's um, last week's live. I kept confusing B, just the word, letter B. Fowler, with B. E. A. Fowler, who's also a subscriber of mine, and he. Uh, B Fowler is, is, he says a boy. I don't know if he's a boy or man, what he is, but he's not a Mrs. Okay. He's a Mr. So Mr. B Fowler, appreciate it. Uh, you didn't miss that much yet. We've, uh, we're talking Dutch ovens tonight. And so if you got a Dutch oven question, just pop it right up there and make sure you tag me at backwards gourmet channel right there. And so I don't miss it. And, you know, just, uh, I, that's why I missed your comments from last week. It was scrolling by so fast. I just missed it. I did go back and watch this after it rented out, posted on the channel and, uh, had time to just concentrate on that chat. And so, yeah, man, sorry. Uh, but Mr. B Fowler is in the chat. All right. Uh, let's see if we can get up here. Uh, a lot of people talking about each other. All right, so we got 55 people still in the chat now, 52 likes. So if you've just joined us and you haven't hit that like button, we appreciate uh, appreciate you getting that like button. All right, Jesse Ibera out of San Antonio. Appreciate, love, he says, I love your show, learning lots from you. Hey, uh, Skin, I want to remind everyone that you don't have to wait for YouTube to notify you of a brand new video. There's 339 videos on our channel. Click on the channel page. All you got to do is click on our, our, our little picture over the side, holding cast iron. Uh, click on Backwoods Gourmet channel. Click anywhere there. It's going to take you to the channel page. Once you're on channel page, you can access all of our videos that we put up here for the last 10 years. Okay. People always ask me, always ask me, can you do a video on this, that, or the other thing? I probably only got three over on channel page that we've already done on that same subject. So don't forget that YouTube, you know, it's not, the, the video doesn't go away after we post it. It stays on the channel page. So I've got tons of videos over there on doing all kinds of stuff that everybody's always asked me to do video on. So, and again, we're going back to some of the old ones that didn't, didn't have a lot of uh, production value, you know, before we got better gear and got a little better at putting these things together. So we're going back, redoing some of those really, really good recipes from back in the day. And then as we do, we'll probably take off the old ones. Uh, probably not. Yeah, there's no reason to. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. So B Fowler says his, his name's Bobby. All right, buddy. Uh, appreciate you, Bobby. All right. Um, Let's see what we got from Greasy Gretz here. He's uh, responded to sent one one thousand. 
Um, all right. And here we go. Uh, Mike Rogers says, at Vacus Gourmet, have you tried the camp made Dutch oven? Uh, absolutely. Our eight inches camp made. Uh, uh, when I got it, it was nowhere near the quality of a, du of, a, of a large Dutch oven when I got it. But it works just fine. And it, it's taken, it's, it was a lot rougher surface on it. Uh, had a lot of grinder marks on it, like where they try to grind off imperfections. I don't think any of that really makes a whole heck of a lot of difference in the, in the way it works. But we use an 8-inch all the time, and, uh, and it's made by Camp Mate. All right, so let me go back here. Because it's starting to scroll on me so fast. Uh, Jesse Ibera actually has a very, very good question here. He says, what size uh, Dutch oven is the most versatile? I think the 10-inch uh, is the most versatile because it's going to ride in the middle. All right. I, you know, it's hard to find a 14-inch Dutch oven anymore. I think everybody's quit making them for the most part. You might be able to find some China-made ones there that are 14-inch. But I like the 10 the 10 is perfect size for baking, doing just about everything. Mine is a 10 shallow. Uh, the 10 shallow is really good for doing uh, cobblers and stuff like that because it lids a lot closer. Um, it does have struck a little bit if you're trying to make a huge portion of something in 10 inch. But the 10 shallow is like my like go to. Uh, I'll never go anywhere without 10 shallow. So if you only got enough money to go buy one, one Dutch oven. Uh, I would suggest 10 shallow. That thing you could do just about anything in it. All righty. Let's see what we got here. B. Fowler, he says he made some fried Spam pizza in the Dutch oven on Friday, and it was awesome. I love Spam. I love Spam. Uh, yeah, you can't make nothing with Spam I won't eat. I bet it was awesome, too. So uh, we got uh, Bob Saget over here. and um, I don't know what the heck he's, uh, if it's a real Bob set, a real Bob, Bob Saget, but, uh, Chef Johnny, if you're still in the chat, you, uh, might want to take a look at guys got bombarded with, uh, the Bob Saget. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead. And, uh, I don't know what you're up to here, buddy, but, uh, whole lot of people actually i want to make uh if i can find mrs backwards you can jump on here i'll make you moderator all right yeah brad pitt he's he's gonna be gone out of here too i don't know where, where are these idiots i you guys see the idiots that are over here in, in the live chat um let's get rid of uh brad pitt Talking about uh, inappropriate stuff here for some reason. Uh, okay, let me let me try to clean up this mess over here from people who are. I'm gonna put him. I'm gonna go ahead and just hide him. All right, let me grab uh, Brad Pitt here. He's wanting to be uh, some kind of a dickweed. The buttons keep moving around on me trying to get rid of them. All right. So hopefully we got out, we got rid of the dumbasses. All right. I, they don't understand, I guess. You know. What they should be doing, like and like, uh, like Bobby Fowler just said, these people need a life. Uh, what do you do? Troll around YouTube looking for everything that's live and just go over there and be just a complete dipshit. Uh, so yeah. All right, we're gonna show show Brucey Zoa for now. I uh, want to tell everybody it's coming on right now. Um, be nice, be polite, uh, and uh, keep it PG-13. If you don't, I'm going to throw you to hell off of here. That's as simple as it, simple as it, uh, I can make it. So, Mrs. Backwoods, if she come back on here, I will make her a um, moderator. I don't know that she knows how to, to uh, 
pull them out. All right, we got uh, Barishitoza joining. She says she's a fan of of, uh, of ours, so thank you. Thank you for coming on in there. So Bob and Brad need to go. I tell you what, Darla A, you're a, you are a member. I'm going to go ahead and make you a moderator right now. So there you go, Darla A. You're now a moderator, so if you see any of these, jerk offs come back in here you can uh you can help me out to just to hide them from the chat you, know, you just click on the little three box hide them from the chat and uh they won't show up there anymore all right mike roger says yeah toss the ass hats okay we're going they're, they're uh consider them tossed i'm gonna actually it's actually show <laughs> You can show me later. All right. Well, uh, Mrs. Backwood's on. I'm going to go ahead and make her a moderator, too. Maybe she can figure it out. All right. So there you go. Miss Backwood's now. All right. There, uh, Mr. Bobby Fowler is saying hi to Mrs. Backwood. Yes, she's in the chat. John Augusto watching from Cali. Love your recipes. Keep on cooking, brother. Appreciate you, John. Uh like to give everybody another reminder that that super chat is enabled on this video. We're going to be around here for a few more minutes. Um, and uh, we're talking Dutch ovens. We're talking Dutch ovens. You guys are just joining us. We're talking everything Dutch oven, um, talking anything about brands of Dutch ovens, things you can cook in a Dutch oven, the difference between a camp Dutch oven and a regular Dutch oven. Uh, so if you got any questions, just tag me at backwards gourmet channel right there and, uh, put in your question. That'll help me see it. All right. Uh, we got Leonardo DiCaprio just got, uh, deleted by Darla a, so we might have some more of them in here. Um, so appreciate that guys, for, uh, Darla for helping us out. It's hard for me to try to keep up with the chat and get rid of all these. I, I think the people just do it for sport. I don't know. You know, they they, I, they just what, they cruise YouTube looking for a, a live video and, and they go in and just be just total jerks, total jerks and using all kinds of inappropriate uh, language. I guess they just see how long is it going to be for they, they throw me out. I don't know. I, I don't I don't understand it. I, I, what what do they get from it? I don't understand it. All righty. So. Yes. She's uh, uh Darla, appreciate you taking care of Lena Leonardo DiCaprio over there. Next cookbook, uh, it's kind of bluey, bluey. Uh, she's asking, uh, I guess this is she. Um, next cookbook question mark. Well, I haven't put out the first cookbook yet. If you go to our channel page and click on videos, that's pretty much a video cookbook right there. Um, one of these days. If we can get some kind of financing for it, um, uh, we might go back through that whole thing and write them all down and make a, you know, put it on Kindle or a downloadable ebook, an e cookbook with video embedded in the e cookbook. All righty. Let's check her out here. All right, uh, Baruch, I appreciate you stopping by. We got to go. All right, Becky Dupree, did you uh, did you see my question on a bail for gate marked Dutch ovens? No, I did not see that one. And like I said before, sometimes this goes so fast and we get all these crazy people in the chat that we got to deal with, so I, I, I'll miss some once in a while. So go ahead and leave me that question again, Becky, and uh, we'll try to get that knocked out for you. Yeah, I see. Well, now we got a Zodiac Killer in there. His message has been deleted by Darla. You go, girl. You, uh, Darla. Darla's on the, on the job over there. And uh, I don't know. Like, again, what, what these people get out of it. All right, so Michael Jackson just showed up also. We had Leonardo DiCaprio. Now we got Michael Jackson. And uh, Michael Jackson say, I'm a nice guy, uh, you know. And he's got a creepy looking Michael Jackson picture as his, um, 
his profile picture. I'm sure somebody's going to have to go uh, just jack him out of here, too. So far, he ain't said nothing that's terrible. All right, Becky D, D, Becky Dupree, uh, one of our longtime subs and, and member, can you suggest where I can find a bale for my old Dutch oven? I'm currently using a piece of wire. Mm, I really cannot help you with that one. Uh, I have do not know uh, where you could find one. I, I've really never had the... the um, the instance to ever try to find one. Uh, there is some really good wire, though, that you can use for a bale, and we use it in construction for any place in, in commercial work we, where we have to suspend stuff from the ceiling. So we use it for uh, the electrical, for the uh, ceiling grid. If you find a piece of ceiling grid wire, that will be some really, really good wire to make a bale from. So that's the only suggestion I can give is find some ceiling grid wire that's used in a commercial construction and go ahead and make you know, a bale out of that. It's very stiff. It's very strong, uh, but it's still, uh, uh, it's still malleable enough that you can use, uh, you know, some pliers to bend it and whatever. So now we got John Stamos getting uh, kicked out by Darla. So, wow, man, we really got Darla working overtime with all of these trolls. Where are all these trolls coming in here? Uh, now I guess we got, now we got Jeffrey Dahmer. Well, I don't know how, what do we trigger some, some, some troll, troll trap? Are we a troll trap at night? Anyway, I'll tell you what, you trolls, go find something better to do with your damn life than going over here and trying to screw up somebody's live chat. All right, Mikey Rogers, uh, says that back was gourmet. It took me forever to season the camp made oven. But the BBG set is pretty, I'm thinking he's saying, trying to say nice. Okay, BBG, Backwoods Gourmet set. Uh, is that, I don't know if that's what he's talking about exactly. BBG set is pretty nice. Uh, okay, I so say Darla A saying it's the same guy with all, a bunch of different names. A barbecue setup, my bad. Okay, but the barbecue setup is pretty nice. Yeah, uh, we try to do what we can. Uh, now, uh, Becky Dupree, Elvis Presley, I'm sure that, that's uh, probably another one. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Becky Dupree says, says um, someone suggested that I could take a pitted Dutch oven to a machine shop and to smooth it out. Thoughts? I, I could do that myself. Flap wheel and angle grinder, uh, smooth it out. But yeah, machine shops should be able to do that for you also. Uh, okay, we're going to be on here a few more minutes. So if you got questions, um, if you got questions about Dutch oven cooking or Dutch ovens in general or anything Dutch oven related, go ahead and leave it. Make sure you tag me. So it shows up over here uh, on my screen. We got sent one 1,000. Just tag me just now. I think it's because you have more than 5K followers. And you, these trolls, I've seen it in other streams also. Uh, actually, we have 50,000 subscribers right now. Uh, you might have missed a zero there. Yeah, but uh, there goes Errol Presley. Uh, Darla just had to knock him out of here also. Chad Robinson, 45. Appreciate it. What's up? What's your favorite brand of briquettes for the camp oven cooking? My favorite is Stubbs. It's all natural. I haven't been able to find that stuff lately. Uh, they used to carry it at my Lowe's, and they just one day, just when they sold the rest of it, didn't get no more. So I got to find out where to find it again. But if you can find Stubbs All Natural, that is my absolute favorite for Dutch oven cooking. It will last you all an hour and 15 minutes on Dutch oven. I haven't found any other charcoal that will do that. Okay. All right. Uh, so Bobby Fowler is asking, hey, troll, why are you doing this? Yeah, I'm I'm asking the same reason. Now we got George Takai. He's gotten kicked off of here, too. But now we have Jim Morrison. Uh, uh, I don't know if that's a real Jim Morrison or another one of these trolls. 
Um, okay, so Sent1-1000 one, is clarifying over here. I mean, I see channels with as little as 5K that have trolls on them like that. Yeah, and uh, Mike Rogers also said trolls need attention. They're in their basements waiting for their mom to get home and make them pot pockets. Yeah, I said pot pockets. That's probably what they're doing. Uh, so, yeah. All right, so it looks like Mrs. Backwoods finally figured out how to hide some of these people, so she just uh, took care of one of these guys. We got On Point, 1977, just showing up here. Give you a shout out. Love the channel, man, and have been learning a lot about from you. Yes, sir. Uh, we appreciate it, and without you guys coming and watching, there's no reason for us to do videos. So we appreciate uh, everybody that comes over and watches. Remember to ring that bell. And uh, make sure your notifications are turned on on your device if you'd like to be notified from YouTube. But, again, I would like to remind people that are just coming into the chat that, hey, if you don't get that, go to our channel page. Click on our logo. Click on the Backwoods Gourmet channel on any of our videos. Take you to our channel page. 339 videos up there as of today. And uh, you can search our entire content that we've been compiling there for almost 10 years. All right. So Mike Rogers giving me a thumbs up on the pot pockets because that's probably what these trolls are doing. They're sitting in their mom's basement, smoking their weed and uh, trying to entertain themselves because they don't really have a life. Bob Mayer, appreciate you showing up. Uh, give you a shout out there. Also, Joel Osteen, I subbed and like. We appreciate that. Um, also, I'd like to remind you again that Super Chat is enabled on this video. And you could also go over and uh, become a member of the channel. Um, so we appreciate everybody that helps support what we're doing here. And we try to, you know, we try to, you know, we try to make sure you're getting what you're work, getting what you're working, you know, pay, paying for. All right. So, uh, man, we just got a bunch of comments all at one time. So, um uh, so Greasy Grits just uh, commented, that was a real Jim Morrison, that would be a trick. Yeah, because I think he's dead. So Joel Osteen, okay, we are going to give you. 38, Kim Possible, trolls are, she says, uh, trolls are sad and lonely and don't get enough attention in their real lives. Uh, so any attention, even bad attention, is acceptable to them. It's sad, really. Yeah, they're really sad. Okay. Dan, 821, uh, okay, Appreciate you dropping in. He says, just dropping in, say hi, love the channel and the recipes. We appreciate you guys for dropping in. Make sure if you're going to leave to hit that like button uh, before you go. It's going to help everything out. Um, man, the time seems like it is not moving here. I don't know how long we've been on. We've been over on over an hour. Um, so right now, uh, we appreciate everybody that showed up. Uh, you know, and appreciate uh, Darla, Darla A. She's uh, came on as a moderator there. And we also appreciate Mike Rogers for the super chat. Uh, man, that's going to that's gonna go a long way. That's going to go a long way to help us out uh, uh, with next week's video. And, um, you know, if you haven't uh, already checked us out uh, on the membership button, we got a uh, membership or lows $1.99 a month. Okay, that's less than 20 bucks a year. So we appreciate if you go check that out and uh, you're going to get access to a lot of little perks and um, over there on the join button. It's, it's all uh, explained out to you. Uh, it doesn't really work with iPhone, iPad or Android tablet for some reason. It works perfectly on Android phone and on PC. Um, so I hope YouTube will get that crap fixed pretty, pretty soon. All right. We've got Texas style barbecue and scene back in the, Back in uh, the channel here, he missed a whole bunch of uh, troll deleting. And uh, <laughs> all right, so but uh, we got Darla A in there now, and Mrs. Backwoods trying to help out too on, on the uh, moderators because I don't know. I'm, I just, I, I don't know. I have a big flag. Hey, trolls, won't you come over here to Backwoods Gourmet Channel live tonight? I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know what happened to it. Yeah, appreciate it though, guys. Um, we're going to go ahead and get ready to sign her off here. So I'm going to take about uh, one or two more questions. So if anybody's got any Dutch oven questions, uh, pop them over there. Make sure you tag at Backwoods Gourmet when you start and click on Backwoods Gourmet. Type us in a question so we don't miss it over here. 
So dang, uh, uh, Texas Style Barbecue Zing says, dang, I missed a troll. No, you missed about 50 trolls. Uh, I just got, I just got, I mean, just, I mean, pummeled, pummeled with trolls. And all of them had uh, celebrity names also. We had everybody from Elvis Presley to Jim Morrison. And, uh, I mean, it was, it was just a, it was a mess. It was a mess. I couldn't even keep track of it. Luckily, I got some good help from Darla. Darla, we really appreciate you stepping in there when Chef Johnny had to step away there. And uh, I think Mrs. Backwoods has now figured out how to do it. Uh, oh, my God, you can't keep up with feeding. With my feed, it's messing up and deleting the wrong people. So if you get deleted by Mrs. Backwoods, it's probably because she's just brand new at it. All right. It's not because she's mad at you or anything. All right. Uh, Wayne Bednors says, any plans on cooking wild game in a Dutch oven? Man, I've done that. I don't know. <laughs> 50 times on our channel already. Uh, we always cook. Almost every time we cook wild game, it's going to be cooking Dutch oven for the most part. So, yeah, go check the channel page out, man. Uh, cooking wild game uh, and seafood outdoors or cooking wild game outdoors. I think it's a whole playlist there. of uh, uh, tons of time, dozens of videos of cooking wild game Dutch oven or in cast iron or, or in multiple different ways. So yeah, hit the, um, you know, hit the channel page up there and there's tons of stuff over there. And I uh, actually got, uh, one coming up next week and on cooking, uh, some dove cooking up, uh, some dove gravy biscuits and we're going to use Dutch oven cast iron, obviously to do that with. So, that's a video I've just now um, uh, finished up and actually posted. So that'll be next Saturday. So yeah, Dutch oven, a uh, wild game or made a uh, match made in heaven. All right. Peter Franz, Francis, uh, cast iron channels, uh, get trolls SX. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, yeah, I don't know why, uh, wh what the deal is. Doug Jackson just want to say, uh, thanks for your videos. Went camping in the Poconos this weekend and got to do some of your recipes, man. That's what we love to hear, and we love people to actually take what they learn here and go out and put it to use themselves. So, uh, Texas Style Bark and Cuisine says, you haven't uh, not made it on YouTube till you have trolls. We got trolls over there on our regular channel all the time, but, man, uh, I didn't know I was going to have so many over here tonight on the live stream. You know, we have the vegan trolls, we got the uh, gluten trolls, we got the uh, heart attack trolls, we got the butter trolls, we got uh, all kinds of trolls, uh, gun trolls, we got we got them all over there. So, uh, righty. So we got Becky Dupree, she thinks it's all the same person, and Joel Olstein is probably another one, I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, we appreciate you guys helping us out with them. Uh, actually, 50 celebs show up to the show live stream, and they're all assumed trolls and get banned. Yeah, well, if you've seen the comments, they were leaving uh, about their uh, appendages. I, Well, I guess they still could probably have been celebrities. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> so, Mike, yeah, it was Troll City. Yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, so, Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. If you haven't seen his channel, if you haven't gone check it out yet, make sure you go over there right beside his name. Hit them three buttons to go subscribe to his channel right now because he says he's eating the Axis Deer Country Ribs right now. And the video will be out next week when cooked it on the Weber Cattle Grill. So, all you guys, if you hadn't checked out Texas Style Barbecue Cuisine, you got to go over and do that. Uh, just click on the, if you kind of hover over the right hand side uh, of his chat there, you go to those th three little buttons, you can go right there and sub his channel without actually leaving this live chat. All right, so we're coming down to it. Um, Bobby Fowler saying, just an idea, how about making jerky in a Dutch oven? I'm not sure if we could do that. Um, I know I've done it in my big dehydrator. So uh, also Chris McCarthy says, have you ever done a ham and bean recipe? Uh, absolutely. That's on my channel. 
uh, did that. And we've done beans and franks, ham and beans, uh, ham and ham and ham and bacon and ham and a bunch of different kind of beans. We've done a lot of that. So go out there and check out the uh, the channel page, Cast Iron Dutch Oven Cooking uh, Playlist. And you can go back there, scramble, uh, go through a bunch of those and find what you're looking for. I'm, I'm absolutely sure of it. Uh, Becky Dupree is chiming in right here. She says, I tried your hash brown casserole uh, the other day, and it was the first time I ate non-scrambled eggs. <laughs> and I bet you they were pretty good. All right. So appreciate you, De uh, Becky. Uh, 23710JH uh, said someone asked about stacking Dutch ovens. I didn't see that uh, particular question, but yeah, you can stack them as high as you can stack them. Uh, we used to do it all the time, scouts, because uh, we cook for a lot of people. So I don't really recommend going more than three high because you can get a little bit tippy. But yeah, you could just keep stacking them things up, especially if it goes smaller every time. Uh, we may do one of those here uh, in upcoming camping video. We're going to do 12, a 10, and, and an 8. We'll do a full course meal, uh, all stacked. All right. All right. Appreciate you, Mike Rogers, for going over there and giving a little love to Texas style barbecue and cuisine. Uh, went over there and uh, sub to Jeff Johnny. Uh, okay. Eric Wooden, uh, appreciate you joining us. How about uh, playing around with ultimate style do Dutch ovens? I guess he's saying Dutch oven. The ones with gate grates inside. Okay, well, my 12 inch came with a grate, and we use that quite a bit uh, to keep stuff off the bottom when we're baking. I'm not sure if that's exactly what you're talking about. What's the best, uh, Greg, Greg Burkhart? What's the best way to cook trolls in a Dutch oven? I'm going to stay uh, hot and fast. All right. Leslie Miller showing up here. I'm not sure if I missed a question from her, but remember you need to tag me in the video. So I make sure I see you in this very fast running chat that's over here on the side. Sometimes I get talking and I don't catch every single question, but we are been on now. Um, Texas style barbecue scene. Just ask me, have you used a can cooker? And no, I have not. I don't know if it's something uh, I've tried adding so many things. This channel now we're doing, we're doing barbecue. We're doing cast iron. We're doing Dutch oven. We're doing grilling. We're doing catch and cook. We're catch, clean and cook. We're doing hunting. Uh, we're doing regular fishing shows, uh, camping and camp cooking. I really don't know if I can stand to bring another, another item in, but I've seen them used to watch a lot of people use them. And it seemed to work really great. Uh, maybe we'll get one, try it out for a little while, see if it's something we, that we might want to do. All right, guys, I've been on here an hour and 13 minutes. I have to get up and go to work tomorrow. So, And I'm exhausted from working in the garden and working on my truck all day. So I'm going to have to say um, right now, appreciate everyone for showing up. Appreciate uh, all you guys that have, uh, have joined, all of you that subscribed. And I appreciate the super chats here tonight. Also, it's going to help us out big time. So till next time, remember, if you want to be a backwards gourmet, you need to fish, hunt, cook, eat, and live. We'll see you next time.